Thank you. Thank you. Your Holiness, distinguished visitors to Washington, brothers and sisters, it is a great privilege for me to welcome Your Holiness to Washington, to this archdiocese, and to reminisce with you on an earlier visit we had. Twenty-five years ago, I had the great privilege of being with His Holiness as he, together with leaders of religious traditions from all over the world, gathered in Assisi with Pope John Paul II in a historic day of prayer for world peace. Your Holiness, I remember with particular joy the fact that I had the opportunity in that context to meet you, but I also remember that it was a very cold day, <laughs> and the warmth had to come from the hearts of everyone there intent on invoking a sign and symbol of solidarity, of harmony, and of peace. And so it is a great privilege for me today to welcome Your Holiness here and to ask blessings on you in this Kalachakra for world peace and to recognize the wonderful testimony that you bear to harmony, solidarity, and peace. Welcome. I, as a Buddhist monk, and who uh, committed the rest of my life uh, for promotion of religious harmony. So last few decades, with that spirit, uh, I found many spiritual brothers, sisters in different tradition. And my contact, my relation, particularly like late John Paul VI, second, second, second that Polish. <laughs> Uh, I think because uh, his personal experience in Poland and also my experience uh, in Tibet, there are some similarities. So because of that background, since our first meeting, immediately we developed very close sort of friendship and uh, spiritual sort of city of we found common spiritual goal. So the Assisi meeting, really wonderful. Uh, uh, you briefly mentioned uh, that day and uh, some sort of meeting in in in, in hall. Very good, no problem. But late evening, already dark, one sort of meeting uh, in an open place, very cold. <laughs> Fortunately, you see, the Buddhist monk sort of rope, I can, I can do like that. <laughs> but very cold. Then one poor spiritual leader from one African state, uh, very thin clothes, cotton, cotton, and shivering. Then the, the people who sort of were in charge there, they put some sort of heater, uh, heater 
uh, uh, under the chair, and then some blanket. Even then, he eventually fell down <laughs> from the chair. From that, that's a very unique <laughs> experience I saw. So I never forget, you see, that. In any way, in any way, that meeting, I think, really signaled to millions of people with different religious tradition, different philosophy, but we all have common responsibility, same potential to help, to serve humanity, to bring peace through inner peace. Uh, so that sort of spirit, uh, you come here, I very much appreciate. Uh, so, our common responsibility, uh, usually I describe uh, past 20th century uh, eventually become century of bloodshed. Now, this century, 21st century, should be century of dialogue because some different opinions, different views, different interests, always there. Then, uh, all these differences try to solve through understanding, through talk, not through use force. Uh, then we can really transform this century, can be century of peace. So we both uh, have sort of special responsibility. Of course, the way of approach, uh, your unique thing is believe God, totally submission to God, and follow God's sort of blessing or God's sort of message. That's infinite love. I am Buddhist believe law of causality. If you do good things to other, you get benefit. If you do harm other, you get uh, negative sort of consequences. So the goal is same. Be compassionate. Uh, if possible, serve other as much as you can. If not, at least restrain harming other. So all major tradition have sort of same sort of, what's it there, same goal, same message, uh, and same potential. So, I express my uh, deep, because of that, admiration, and then I just mentioned to him, uh, in any way, uh, the, on this planet, our Christian brothers and sisters really made maximum or greatest contribution regarding education. There's no question. Uh, everywhere. So, we must appreciate their contribution. Really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So one time, Kala Chakra initiation in Switzerland, the Yishu Lama Dhaasa did, gave us a rich sign, Aga Khan, Aga Khan, Ken. Now another Kala Chakra initiation in India, 
one tri- uh, high Hindu sort of uh, teacher used to come. Now here in Washington, in the Karachi organization, you should come. Thank you. Uh, so, Thank you. so I just, I just want to give you as a souvenir. Uh, and, and usually, I tell you, you see, people, those not necessarily pursued Buddhist, and I introduce Buddha as a thinker, philosopher. philosopher. Oh, that's all. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Thank you.